Hey, in this video I'll be showing you how to install the latest 4.60 custom firmware by Habib. I'll also be demonstrating how to uninstall or rather downgrade back to another CFW. You may have already noticed I'm already on custom firmware. I'm on currently 4.55 or 0. Uh, one way to tell if you're on custom firmware if you have this install package files icon here. If you don't, you're probably not on custom firmware. We can only install custom firmware on this system if we already have custom firmware or we're on official firmware 3.55. So here I'm installing Habib 4.60 and I'm going to speed this video up uh, for the sake of demonstration. Altogether the process of installing and uninstalling this firmware took about 15 minutes. So I'll go over some features that Habib posted about this firmware. It's made out of 4.60 official firmware. It has the install package files and the app home icon. It has React PSN compatibility, patch level 0 to disable core OS EC DSA check, patch level 2 to add peek and poke support, patch level 1 to disable level 2 protection and to add peek and poke support. It can run games up to 4.60 keys, can be updated over any CFW or 3.55 OFW. It has the red screen of death bypass but does not have the no Bluetooth Blu-ray drive bypass. It has better system stability, React PSN offline patch added, PSP remaster support added, and the QA flag should still be enabled if it was already enabled. Since we've now updated to 4.60, we're going to need to use a backup manager that's compatible with this firmware. So I've already added the uh, Irisman 3.07, and now I've just installed the diskless add-on specifically for this 4.60 firmware. Now I'm going to highlight network settings and perform the button combination L1, L2, R1, R2, L3 down on the D-pad to make sure that my QA is toggled. Uh, this menu at the bottom should pop up if the QA has been toggled on official firmware 3.55. Uh, this indicates that I can easily downgrade to another system firmware just by the XMB. Here I'll install 4.55 Rajiro. If the QA flag is not toggled, that uh, extra menu would not not have showed up and uh, in order to downgrade you'd have to use the Rajiro 999 downgrader and install the 3.55 custom firmware after that. Uh, if you're interested in finding out how to do that I have another video where I demonstrate on how to do this. Um, I downgrade from the dual boot uh, Ferox firmware uh, in which the QA flag is no longer toggled so it untoggles the QA flag uh, so it's necessary that uh, you use the 999 downgrader to change the firmware. Now that I have Rajiro version 4.55 custom firmware installed, I'm going to need to spoof my custom firmware up to 4.60 in order to gain access to PSN. There is another way to install custom firmware if you're on official firmware 4.60. That is to get uh, downgrade hardware, for instance a TNC 2.0 or an E3 flasher, and use the Habib uh, patch files for firmware 4.60. So here I'm installing the diskless add-on for Irisman for all custom firmware. Uh, since the other diskless add-on I installed was specifically for the 4.60 firmware. As of today, July the 6th, there's only a few uh, homebrew that's been updated for compatibility with 4.60. Uh, for example, Iris Manager, Iris Man, Evil Nats Manager, Game Sonic Manager, Evil Nats SCN Enabler and Fan Control Utility, all those tools Fan Control Utility, and React PSN. I'll leave a link to my blog in the description where you could download all the firmware and homebrew and get more information on them. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.